Hey everybody, you are watching tutorials. In this tutorial I want to address a common question about the designer. How to distribute an object around any shape in Adobe Illustrator. And we are gonna explore three methods how to do that. That covers almost any case. No matter whether you want to create a packaging design, a logo design, branding and uh, or custom illustration. Whatever you want to create. This method help you in 99.9% .9 of cases. So let's uh, explore the first method. This method is simple rotation. It's simple as that. You can easily rotate your, uh, let's say, circle in my case around uh, another circle. It works only with circles, of course. And you need to find the center of this large circle that you want to distribute around circle so keep your small circle selected grab your rotate tool or click R holding alt key find the center I use uh, my guides so if you want to follow along my this tutorial control R command R to show the guides and then just simply grab the guides and place in the center of your circle So, keep it selected, holding ALT, open the rotate dialog box. And uh, here, let's say you want to allot 10 units. I need to 360, which is circle, uh, divided by 10. And uh, click tab and Adobe Illustrator produce all calculation for you. Click copy to make it duplicate. Then Ctrl D, Command D to repeat the separation 9 times. So you have 10 circles around another circle. Of course, rotation method is very limited. It allows you to distribute only around the circle, but it also has its pros because you always can control the amount of uh, shapes you want to distribute and the uh, actual angle of distribution. Second method is my favorite method is the blend tool. Blend tool is highly uh, underestimated tool among designers. It allows you to do a lot and probably I'm going to create a tutorial how five waves how to use blend in Adobe Illustrator. So subscribe to my channel and don't miss another tips and tutorials. You can also check my tutorial how to create a logo design with the blend tool. So here I have two circles and we need to produce a blend. So first of all go to the object blend, blend options. Here I want to set the spacing to specified steps and leave it as a default 8. Click OK, then Ctrl Alt B or Command Option B to create a blend. And with, with the blend tool we can distribute around the more complex shape. So let's create this pentagon. Select both your blend and this pentagon, go to the object, blend, replace spine, this option. And as you can see, your blend is distributed around this uh, pentagon. But uh, it produces this uh, gap and if you want to remedy this uh, mistake, um, it's probably not a mistake, it's how the plant works. Uh, you need to grab your scissors tool, so click C and uh, go and click on this small anchor point and voila, you have an equally distributed uh, circles around the pentagon. And uh, as you can see, uh, colors are blending and you can also go to the blend and change your colors. Let's say I want to this uh, circle be red and uh, as you can see now all of my colors are changing and create very intricate very nice design and now we can treat this object as any other blend in Adobe Illustrator so you can visit your blend options and change the number of steps in order to increase or decrease the number of circles you can also switch to specified distance and set the uh, distance between the circles. 
let's say you want the distance uh, 50 pixels around any circle so distance is calculated between the center of one circle to to the center of another circle so you need to keep this in mind and this is how blend tool work okay uh, again if you want to in-depth tutorial how to produce logos you need to definitely check this uh, logo design tutorial and last uh, option is a pattern brush pattern brush is uh, very easy to create but uh, you need to be very careful when you consider this uh, option because uh, adobe illustrator treats objects uh, in uh, its own way it can uh, modify it it can shrink them or make a bit wider let's say i want to distribute the star around this circle so i want to go to the brushes panel if you can find your brushes panel go to the windows brushes or click at five so and just simply put it inside my drag it and put it inside my brushes panel from this menu i want to choose pattern brush click ok and uh, we have a bunch of options here but Probably the most important option is spacing The number of space in between the stars And last option that I want to discuss is colorization option You can uh, choose tints, tints and shades and hue shift uh, In most cases I choose hue shift Because I want to control the actual color of my stars So click OK And now you can uh, Select your circle, find your brush and distribute your brush around the circle. You can control the stroke weight and as you can see it's, you receive a distorted uh, shapes and probably this is not what you want. So keep this in mind that uh, Illustrator adjusts the shape to fit the bus. Uh, then you can al always uh, change the brush let's say i want to sp set the spacing not to 300 percent i want to set the spacing to 200 percent apply to strokes yes apply to stroke and uh, we have uh, 200 percent or probably i do not want space at all so uh, click ok apply to strokes and uh, you have this very nice option and uh, you can easily adjust the color because we choose hue shift in our options so if you just simply want to distribute circles around any other shape you can do that with the stroke panel you don't need to use this method at all the most simplest method how to distribute circles around any other shapes is to use a stroke panel so uh, open your stroke panel grab your dashed line set the dash to zero and set the amount of gap let's say to 30 points and i want to control only weight i want to increase weight on this circle then i want to set the round cap as you can see here and set the dash line to zero actually it can be any other shape let me create a random shape and you can control uh, the actual amount of space using gap very easy to do very easy to create and you always uncheck this option round cap and set it to let's say projecting cap and voila you have squares distributed around the shape so this is basically the end of our tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial do not forget to thumb up subscribe and share it with your friends i want to thank you for following to the end have a nice day